everybody, this is Mitch Ziegler, physical therapist at Spring Arbor University Physical Therapy. Today we're going to be going through how to turn off the tender points that are in your neck on the outside and the backside. So the reason you're watching this video is because you've seen a therapist and they've determined you have these points and you kind of know which side they're on. So, um, so what I'm going to have you do is we're going to check for points now. So right, you want to take your hands and just squeeze your neck on either side and you'll feel these little bumps on the side of your neck and those are little bones and those are called the transverse processes and that's what we want to push on. So we just start pushing on the side of the neck all the way down until I find the spot that's the worst one right there. That's a sore one on me. So it's about a six out of 10. So what we want to do for these points is we just want to fold around the points. So I'm going to bend my head to the side and I'm going to let my chin kind of fold over the point too. So I, again, I'll repeat. So you bend over the point sideways and you rotate your chin towards that tenor point. And that's the position you start in right there. And then you push on the point and you see if it's 50% or better. If it is, then you've done a good treatment. If you haven't, then you might need to do some more fine tuning. So you could let your hand bend forward a little bit more. You could rotate your chin a little bit more towards your hand, or you could let your head, your ear bend down towards your shoulder a little bit more. And I push on it and I don't have any tenderness there at all anymore. I hold this position for two minutes or however long your therapist told you to hold it, but for at least two minutes. I wanna make sure that I'm not feeling stretching or pain in any other area of my neck. I just want to make sure that I'm shutting this tender point off, okay? You may feel a little pull, but no pain and not um, a hard stretch that is uncomfortable, okay? So I hold it for two minutes. I slowly come up out of the position and I recheck the point and I don't have any tenderness there anymore. That's how you treat the ones on the side. And the ones on the back side, I'll just move around here a little bit. <clears throat> and what you want to do is you want to poke around in the back of your neck where you feel that those bones stick out of the back of your neck the most, those are called the spinous processing. You're gonna poke down until you find one that's the most tender, like right there is a good one on me. And once I find that point, I don't keep pressure on it, but I keep it there to monitor it. And all I do is I just gently let my chin tip backwards. I would say probably, mm, I don't know, just a little bit until you can feel all that soften up back there and then push on it again and see if that tenderness is 50% decreased. If it's 50% decreased then or more, then you're right on the right track. You can try to go back a little bit further and see if that's even better, or you may have to come out of it a little bit, but use um, taking your chin up or taking your chin, chin down to fine tune the position. So right here, it feels pretty good. So I'm gonna hold it for that two minutes in this position. After two minutes is done, I'm gonna bring my head out of the position to a neutral position and I'm gonna poke on it again and see if it's 50% or better. If it is, then you've done a successful treatment.